Thank you to everyone who has been listening to the Danny Dozen Mini Podcast and reading the Danny Dozen articles posted on nwfdailynews.com and in the print edition of the Northwest Florida Daily News each day. We're about halfway through the Danny Dozen articles so far. Before we get to the episode, I want to mention one of the sponsors in the high school football preview section, which will appear on August 28th, Sport Clips. They have two locations, one in Fort Walton Beach at Wright Plaza, on the corner of Racetrack Road and Beale Parkway, and they have another in Bristol Beach Plaza next to Barnes & Nobles out in Destin. The phone numbers are 850-315-6871 for the Fort Walton Beach location and 850-460-2847 for the Destin location. They've been voted finest on the Emerald Coast, and they want all the local teams in the area. They want everyone to have a great season. They're open Monday through Friday from 9 a.m. to 8 p.m., Saturday 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. And in case you need a haircut on Sundays, they also have opening on Sunday 11 a.m. to 6 p.m. Devin Golden from the Northwest Florida Daily News here doing the Dandy Dozen Mini Podcast. And uh, I've got Eli Stove, a a well-known name around the panhandle, a nice little wide receiver, a senior, and a commit to Auburn, one of the top ranked wide receivers in the country according to a lot of a lot of different scouting services first off congratulations eli being danny dozen for a second year in a row um and also just for a summer and a spring and a last probably you know 15 months that have probably been a whirlwind for you does it get overwhelming at any point i guess that's kind of the first question because i've obviously never been a highly sought after college football (laughs) player does it get overwhelming uh that's why i kind of got the recruiting process over with i just committed to auburn so really this summer has been just relaxing, just focus on one school. I mean, there's schools that have been coming at me, but not really as hard as the school I committed to. So it's been, it's been going pretty well. Is there any chance it changes? I mean, or are you pretty much locked in, like, I want to go to Auburn? I mean, I'm pretty much locked in. I mean, if something happens in the course of the whole season and I have to change my mind, then I'm going to go ahead and do it then I got you. non-signing day. But uh, I'm pretty much 100%. I got you. I got you. Well, again, congratulations for being at this point. A lot of kids are still fighting that decision. You know, a lot of, I mean, and you probably know them. You've probably talked to them about it. Um, with interviews, I mean, again, I've never, inter- I've never interviewed you. Do you, do you try and, and shy? I mean, do you kind of? I mean, some kids, some teenagers, they they kind of ball up. They get shy. You know, they, they're not. They don't necessarily like the interview and doing interviews with media. Or and some other kids are very comfortable. How are you kind of with it? Uh, it honestly depends. Like. I mean, I know everybody has mood swings, and like my coach tells me, my mom and my dad tell me, just get the interview over with. Like, <laughs> so you're like that right now. You're just like, let me just get this over with. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> I do interviews, but my mom and dad usually say, just don't be like Marshawn Lynch. Coach Hicks gave me a whole, uh, basically, a whole five minutes about just making sure I talk well interviews and not just say like, one word, two words. Mm-hmm. I think it was you were walking up. And Michael Carter was like, "Oh, oh, Eli Stove, the great Eli Stove." Do people at school do that? They, they kind of <laughs> no. No one does that. Nah, no I one mean, treats you any different because you're Eli Stove. I mean, again, that's a name I mean, that around everyone here knows. Some of my friends do, but like I don't, really, I don't let it get to my head. Really? Like, really? Like once you get to college, every four star, five star, it's just just a regular person. Yeah. Play the college football player. But you don't feel any sort of like you put on a pe- put up higher here. No, I mean, you don't. You don't let yourself be that way. Is kind of the main thing. I mean, you still brush your teeth. You still got to yeah. go home. You, yeah. still, you still. You still got to do everything that any normal kid does, right? Yes, when when was the first offer for you? When did that first offer come? Uh, I don't know what the date was, but it was family, and it was like the morning before school. When did it really pick up for you? Like when did when did more offers really start coming through? Mm, probably, I'll say probably after the. Uh, Fourth game. Fourth game of sophomore year? Yeah. Really? Game. Really? Okay. Does it, I mean, does that ever get, I, did that, do you ever lose kind of the sense that you're just a kid? Did you, and you have to do school, you have to play for Niceville, you have to go do two-a-days. Do you ever, like, does anything ever get cut out of, like, your daily routine? College, like, you're going to have to have time for, uh, like, you're going to have to cut all the time for, like, some of your friends, your girlfriends, like, it's time management, really, and just... I guess you probably don't have as much time, right? Yeah. You just don't, you don't have the time. As you're talking about, do I feel like being a, a man or older? Like, my parents always get to me saying, like, I'm getting too over my head sometimes, but, uh, yeah, 
y'all do, I believe that sometimes everything gets overwhelming, but then I just had to realize I'm not there yet, so I'm not going to just be a bigger man than everybody. I'm still in high school, and I'm still getting, like, basically, my parents have been putting me through a lot, so I got to just be a young man, not a man. I guess they're testing you. They're, yeah. they're pushing you. You know, there's, these are big decisions for you. For a kid, you know, you're getting an offer when you're a sophomore. How old are you? 15, 16? You know, that's a big decision, a big thing to handle as a 15-year-old. Do you ever get nervous still when you go out and play? Uh, not anymore. But you, you know, you never get butterflies when you walk out, of, like, for high school games anymore? As much as maybe you used to? Probably playoff games because I know it's my last time. Talk about your personality, locked in people's faces, banging on the lot. Or are you are you more laid back? I'm more laid back. I'm just listening to my music. Here. What what music? What what's like the one song you listen to? Uh, <laughs> I don't, uh, if there is a song. To be honest, it changes every year. Michael Carter's album. <laughs> Michael Carter's album. <laughs> I saw it on Twitter. I was because he told me the story. So he he's like you know he didn't. He just said the album dropped, it was going to be the 8th, and then he everyone wanted it, and he didn't really have any plans to do it, yeah. so he just downloaded the SoundCloud. I, on, like, I saw on a Snapchat, he said at 7 o'clock it's going to be out, so I I looked, at 7 o'clock exactly, I looked, and me and my friend Ryan was listening to the whole album. Are you, so you're not, someone who, you're not someone who gets like really amped up in the locker room. Who was someone like last year? Mm. In the locker room that was like, you know, he was the one that was, that was loud. He was the one that was up, way up here. Probably Deontay. Really? Deontay Sheffield. I mean, he was really loud in the locker room because he was hyped before games and stuff like that. So. And he didn't even, I mean, did he play a ton? Yeah, he played. He, he played, played, played a good bid last year? Yeah. Really? And he's going to play, I know he's going to play a lot more this year. Yes, sir. Um, with, with Shark, he obviously graduated, but, so he was someone who was way up here. If I had to guess, and I could be way off on this, if I had to guess, was Bryson up there? Bryson uh, Houston? He's a little bit in between. He's like, me and him had, like, the lockers right next to each other. and Compared to you, he was. Yeah. But he had – some games he had, like, he just laid back. Really? Okay. What about on the field? Are you someone who, who gets who gets in faces and stuff like that? Uh, yeah. I mean, it depends, really. Like, the music gets to me sometimes, like the bands. Yeah. I'm not going to lie. Like, I mean, the, the band here – I mean, you, you've been – you've played many games here. It's a pretty – cool atmosphere right i mean you're in the you're in the bowl that is like this awesome like venue the student section is going crazy the silly string goes in the air yeah. does that just kind of take a hold of you when you see that sometimes like you just kind of lose it's almost out of body experience like this is pretty awesome yeah and i used to be in the band so like every time i hear music i'm of course i'm gonna look towards the band or i'm honestly gonna want to pick up a drumstick and just really you used to be in the band yeah. like where here no in my middle school Okay, do you still play instrument at all or no? Yeah, I still play a little bit of the drums, a little bit of piano, and dial phones. Yeah, really? Yeah, I can do it all. Okay, I got you. Um, well, again, you know, congratulations um, on, on Dandy Dozen and, and on everything that has happened with you in your life. You know, you're obviously off to amazing things. I've, I've never gotten the chance to interview you before, and I have gotten the chance to see you and watch you play, and I hope to obviously be able to do that a lot more this year.